There's Killjoy again. It seems like teams were able to play around it. It did not really affect them. Akis has and got we'll it. see it again. Akis has got it. So we get another Killjoy, and we'll see how it works on Haven this time. As we are on to the map, and we see Dapper and Squad for Sentinels setting up on defense here as Envy will attack to start. And seeing a, a bit of the same FNS back onto that Cypher, making sure he's laying traps. Nothing tricky for him this game to switch it up. And everybody playing about what they would. Sick not on the Sage, as there's no Sage here for Sentinels. No Sage, but I've loved the aggression out of Sick recently. If you oh, looked yeah. at their previous matchup, he was definitely a hero, not only in their matchup against Envy, but against TSM. He played really well. Normally stuck on that Sage, where you gotta play slow. You gotta wait for them to peek you. On yep. the Phoenix, he can get aggro. And the Sentinels, they oh, love shit. to mix it up. They love to switch up the tempo just when you expect them to play the standard default D. They here. come and they hit you fast. Normally, you're going to see Sinatra working alongside Ooh. Shazam in a duo, but I'd love to see Sick and Sinatra maybe take it over over at Long C and through the garage. And Dapper putting a pretty good gate down there, probably figuring that it will cover all spots. Seems like he trained that one in. And now, yeah, we're going to get a bit of split. 2-2-1. Two, two, Obviously, you will have that lurk coming in from FNS to make sure that there's no push. And I think we've seen a lack of information pushing throughout this tournament. Even last game, everybody was sitting back on, on bind. When A was clear, they knew somewhere B. Nobody threw showers. Here, we just start off with some regular shots over a jet smoke. And again, we'll go for some info. No more peaks towards the left, but here on the outside, Envy does have that jet lurk. Sick already off to that hot start at the long range classic spam. Now he's repositioned. He's got a weak teammate, though. That's going to be Sinatra right around this corner. Caboose with an opportunity to answer back, but the headshot lands. Two kills traded back in favor here for Envy as it's a fair fight on C. Mame running in, not affected by any of that. It's good trade though, coming from Zombs. He's hiding in the back, he's able to get two, and now he makes it the 2v1. Ouch. Big kill there from FNS, and does he have the finesse to finish this one out? Hat v hat, finesse Ooh. going up against Dapper, one of the best in the game. The spike. And with Spike down, FNS has got, got the advantage here. How does Dapper decide to break in? He's got a little peek, and those shots are gonna land. Drops him to just two bullets or a single headshot, of course. The ghost is good, though, as Finesse gets the repeak, his third of the round. And that's the way for your captain to step up. The in-game leader, Finesse, putting the first score on the board. You got the money now going into round two. And if you look at Envy historically, this is a team that plays in huge swings. They could go on a six, seven round run. This is where you all get it started. Execution from Envy there almost got a little hairy. As they pushed into the site, there wasn't a push through. Just Jet giving Zoms a 1v1. Giving Zoms a 1v1. Now they start to push through. The possibility of it being another 1v1, but it was obviously picked up. FNS continues to control the rest of the round, but seeing that, a little hesitation to get in and happy enough with getting the bomb down to a spot. Let's we'll see if they play this one differently, setting up for a bit of a default and information grab here, just from both sides, really. And I want to see where Dapper goes. Keep your eyes on that green cypher making his way over to B. He's got a shorty. I believe also it was Shazam with his shorty over at the A site, mm -hmm. so they have to play up close and personal. Meanwhile, you got the triple stack over on Seaside early, the rotation from Sinatra to Lockdown B. They're just expecting some mid-pressure, and the attackers definitely taking their time. What is the plan from Akis here? He's got the Spectre, of course, on the new agent. Killjoys haven't popped off up to this point in the event, especially not expected to do so on the attack, but I'm excited to see what he knows and we don't. Yeah, we have kind of seen the bomb just be a fizzle out moment. They, they throw it down, They're, you know there's a window to fight within, but then you have to get out of it. I feel like you take the site, put the bomb down, and it creates much more of an intense moment for the retake, knowing there's not a time you can step in coming up, or do you play before it goes off and try to take it out? Really putting the pressure moment down as opposed to, hey, back off for a bit and down. we'll come in. Good it, trades on both sides as our round gets started. Yeah, it's actually Sick who had that second shorty and he puts his to work. Sniper though in the hands of Caboose. It's the Marshal, gotta hit the heady. And you're gonna see actually multiple players on defense without the armor. So a single shot could do massive damage here. Caboose about to get his first opportunity as the attack is gonna be coming in. Look for Sinatra to throw out that recon and lead the charge. But they do not have the right weaponry, and already the first is going to fall. There's a second. Caboose getting four kills already in the round. Give him the ace instead. It's stolen by Calypso. 
but a great round from Envy. They played it slow. They worked off that first pick and then just locked down the C site behind that marshal. A great few rounds, a promising start, but the guns come out. Operator in the hands of Shazam, Shazam here as we see this one more time. It takes his time. He says, you know what? I don't even need to zoom. Thank you very much. Great job by Caboose. Confidence round for him. And you said he needed to get started early. Caboose, he's at the front of the train right now. We're coming into round three. And they got guns on both sides, Bucket. Glass cannon for Shazam, the only player Good in the call. lobby without this army. He's going to take some huge bullet punches if he gets hit first. But Shazam on the jet. Perfect character to get the shot and get out. Doesn't need to use any abilities as he walks this one back. But all rookies, they know A is not the plan. Sick with a quick punish over on C long as well. This is the bounce back for Sentinels. Careful now. Quickly taking their picks. Obviously the jet moves back. Shazam stays safe now with a bit of utility here from the help of FNS. FNS gets a little bit of rotation and he'll start to cheat towards B. Always looking for info as the Sova drone goes out mid. I don't think that really creates any movement for Sentinels as they didn't see too much. And at this point, Envy's just taking their time. Mm -hmm. we're, we're maybe talking, all right, how many credits does everyone have? Do we need to save? If we get a pick or two, then we can get aggressive on a site. But let's see if someone overextends on the defensive end. Sentinels, though, they get an aggro early. They reposition on you, and then they punish with the crossfire. Perfect example there. Zops is going to drop, but that's a double flash jet. And down will go Mummy, finally, as Sick picks up the Operator. This has been a nearly flawless round for the Sentinels. Four players still up. Fully healed Phoenix, Ooh. and Sinatra is going to win the gunfight after getting shot first by Finesse. Becomes really difficult at the end of that pocket. You don't have much. You're dry peeking everything after your first strat didn't work. And Sentinels quickly making work of a few to start the round on either side of the map. And that kill from Sick, too, grabs attention. That it's an easy finish. Find Cypher after this. Now, something interesting. He could have picked up the op. At the end, they leave it on the ground. Sentinels yep. notorious for preferring the rifles. They like to be able to trade. It's definitely part of their in-game tempo. Shazam's going to continue to op down long A. But when you come to Get B and C site, expect a whole lot of phantoms in your face. Shazam looking for an early peek from the jet on the other side. But Mummy is a no-show. His first opportunity just moments away as Sick has already gotten behind enemy lines. And Dapper is there with the punish. Sentinels taking the fight to their opponents. I loved it. Look at the traps on B. They flank each side. C is stopped by a smoke, and every pressure from A is safe as long as you don't go down. You know they're not pushing mid. You have traps there. They're just working off the information they have right away on the side of Sentinels. As Shazam picks up one more from the top side of B there, he's going to be safe. And info again. It's like Envy can't go anywhere without being seen right now. And an, oh, almost another one. One was on the right. He knows the shot came from the left, so yeah, two. Sinatra uses his abilities so well. We talked about it in the pregame. Here's a look at his aim, though. He goes for the spray transfer. Cannot find Calypso in time. And Calypso, with 45 seconds left, finds himself in a 1v3. He does have the spike in hand, but there is a peak and there is a punish. Shazam waiting for him on the other side with the operator. Glass cannon to everything he needs after a quick round. More armor for him coming in on this one. We saw the trip wires here by Dap or Dapper being picked up as he went through B. So they're saving money all over. They have time to just play it slow and keep finding the picks. Shazam may switch it up here, right? He was long last time. We may see a pick short. Then he goes back long to change his position, but always switching it up, never setting a precedent. As an offer, that's how you get shot in the face right away. And can we check the cash real quick? I believe we're going to see a dry round here out of Envy. I say that because I'm looking over at Akis. Nothing yeah. in his kit out of side the default. Sinatra busting the Hunter's oh. Fury right away. Lots oh. to do damage, and he is going to convert that into an early first blood. Not even a fair Lots fight on a pistol round. Again, they have these traps that are ready for a retake, ready to stop Envy as they come in. There's one. You were right. It was that save here, so it's going to be tough for Envy to come in. And the traps are just shutting them down. Dapper Sinatra making quick work of B. And they'll take this third round for themselves, coming into round six. When Envy had success five, previously sorry. against the Sentinels, they were able to win that crucial rifle mm -hmm. round. They were able to clutch up in round four. The Sentinels, after dropping the first two, have stolen three in a row. They broke their opponents, but finally we have another crucial round where it will be everyone with their ideal weaponry. Phantoms and an Operator coming out. Ooh. Full armor as well, but here's how Sinatra puts to use his ultimate. He knows he's going to get even more dots at the bottom of his screen. Continues to lay down kills as Dapper finds three. He is going to unlock his 
ultimate on Cypher, and we, we're just going to see Sentinels with really a great opportunity to hold once again. The question is, what does Envy have? Do they have any set plays? You're playing with the Killjoy, not the best attacking character. A Cypher, not so good either. So you're really looking at your Phoenix and your Jet. That's going to be Caboose and Mummy who need to get an intro pick here. Absolutely, and we see those three ultimates ready. Cypher's not so much until you can get Neural Uplink on an opponent. But if they can Phoenix break this garage, it's something to start on. Is there a follow-up? Protect the body as the Phoenix is now play a little cat and mouse on either side of the wall. It looks like B... Maybe once again, as Envy looks for a pick, playing this slow. Envy is really, really relying on just an opening shot. Here, Caboose stepping up, looking for it. No flash, no smoke, maybe a deterrent to say, let's, yeah, there we go. It's moving them off their first angle. I'd like to see the molly. I thought it was a bit dry on the take, but now they start to go in. The first trip goes off. It does not affect Caboose here as he's moving through. They want to run away from this, run it back. And we'll see where the plant goes down with Akon protection. Calypso comes through with kill one. Calypso just walks his way through and does the damage. Akis is going to find Dapper, who is trying to rotate through. Now Shazam has the operator, but has to use the Sheriff at short range. Mummy around the corner waiting for him. And Sentinels, as they drop sick, will be down to just two players. This could be a save scenario. I don't see him getting into the B site, and it doesn't look like they're going to attempt it. As Shazam falls, it is just going to be Zoms left alive and Calypso right behind him. Oh, he, he can't shoot the gun, so he wanted to wait. And Zom says, you know what? I feel that sixth sense tingling. Turns around, gets a kill for himself. So they're, they're dropping a few guns off that side of Envy. And Zoms goes down himself as Mame starts working that operator. Three to three as we start going punch for punch pocket. It does seem like Envy is able to fight back here against what Sentinels has to provide. And I thought that was going to be a troublesome round because Mame lost a shot that was should have been a free kill on Sick poking through the doors. But it just had a strong enough push behind the Phoenix run it back. B was no problem. Akis following up the run it back perfectly. Was able to get a kill on Dapper. And all of a sudden, the Sentinels are held out to dry. Let's see what they can do now as once again they're going for their standard default look at yeah. dapper and shazam though this round looks like shazam wants to get aggro wants to get an early pick here with the operator and he could find the cypher waiting on the other side you should run so you always see cyphers throw that gate long you make sure they don't know if somebody's running short set a precedent keep it going keep your opponent thinking and the push already coming in here Shazam's going to have to wait knowing that there's a trip, so he wants to have everyone come back. Oh, actually floats over it. I don't know if he heard that. Yeah, he's going to be coming back, but it's not in enough time. Finesse gets taken. Now Shazam has her back. He can do so much by creating pressure here without doing too much. Throws down the off, picks up a phantom, and shuts down Akis as well. Shazam doing all the work behind enemy lines. Meanwhile, it looks like the rotation is through to A for Envy. Spike is going to be planted. They've got the operator watching the B rotation. And it looks like Calypso is going to be perfectly positioned to find Zoms on the rotate. But what will the Phoenix be able to do? Can Caboose hold the door against the two players pushing up short? It's about to go down. Envy's doing such a great job at making the right decisions for the site they need, but can the shots get hit? Six comes up with the first one as Calypso answers on the retribution kill. There, Shazam, the team, peek together, and now Calypso has his work cut out for him. It's going to be a tough one. Does some tag damage as he peppers that shot over to the side of A, but it's not going to be enough. That's a win for Sentinels as they shut down that attack from Envy. And Calypso has to stay alive here so he can buy the Operator for Mummy, potentially. We'll see if they do invest. And after buying up They're the waiting. armor, it looks like that is not even going to be an option. Akis has some yeah. cash. There, there it is, Akis. Go. Okay, so Akis is going to buy and change. He is going to get, in exchange, I should say, he's going to get the Phantom. Once again, when it comes to the weapons, it's a fair fight, and this is a critical round for Envy. They are broke if they lose this. Everybody on Sentinel's making shots that they need. You see in those KDAs. Envy looking to hit those. Again, using... A bit less utility than you like to see as they're heading into sites. But still, you rely on a good shot and you get that momentum going. We saw Caboose earlier. It's all about if they can hit it. A minute and 20 left on this round is it's another slow one. But we're getting more pushing this game. Like Come I said, the previous ones, we didn't see too much of this. The round had continued. Nobody was feeling like they could push out. And now look, one already out into mid lane. Phoenix just watching that big flank. And he can have the chance to go around once they execute on A here. Envy's about to pull the trigger. Sick is going to keep trying to flank. Meanwhile, you're going to have the Omen on the opposite side of the map. The teleport available. That'll be Zom. Shazam gets the first pick, though. 
Here comes the Nano Swarm. Killjoy starting to be a little bit of a pest, but they hold their positions. Mummy is going to get the pick on Sinatra, and here come the Blade. Shazam instantly shut down, and all of a sudden, I Envy with total control. Really slowly played here by Envy, but seemed to just call Sentinels on the full retake in the site, pressuring now, and it seems like Sentinels have to scatter a bit to even make this work, losing members left and right as nobody was really able to come in with the buddy system there. The flank was had on one side, Zoms is here, one was in heaven, and they really could not make those angles work for themselves. Envy doing a really nice job of having some post plants that gives Sentinels the trouble. I think we're going again around for a round here, Puckett. This is a fun one to watch, ladies and gentlemen. Strap in. This is just the beginning. Last time these two teams met up, it went the distance to that game three. We could see another three-game series on our hands. This is Envy's map pick. They'll tie things up as it will be just Zom saving his Phantom for the Sentinels in the next round. Sentinels still have cash, so we'll see another fair fight coming into round nine. But back and forth, back and forth. And I have to say, Mummy, he's at six and six. The man's not even warmed up yet. He's still missing some <laughs> shots that I've seen him just connect. And of course, on the other side, Akis, pretty uncomfortable on the Killjoy. Two rounds yeah. ago, he used the ultimate, thought they would fake their way to C and then rotated into B. But by the time they got to his site, they were down two players. I feel like Envy hasn't fully figured out this yep. comp completely. But the fact that they're hanging in here with Sentinels is a great <laughs> sign of things to come later in this series. Absolutely. It's each team figuring each other out doing a bit more homework obviously knowing Shazam's going to be opping in places and not giving him that option here actually on their side mummy's waiting for just that oh the sliver peak not even the jiggle from Shazam he gives a shoulder that's enough but neither opera is able to come up with that first kill on this round moving over once again to B when Emmy wants it they take it and there is Calypso showing you how good he is with the Paranoias, but the follow-up is too slow. Dapper trades out too, and Sinatra goes Burr in the back. So all of a sudden, it's a two on three. Make it a two on one. Just Mummy left alive, trying to keep this operator in hand, but there are players all around him. Ooh. Waiting this one out. Looking Ooh. for the shot. Wing to be on his left, but he still wants to get in to try to make the play. And I may have said they'd take what they want, but it doesn't look like they get to keep it for very long as Sentinels is ready to act. That's been repetitive rounds now that MB has actually tried to work through B to go Akon A. And I think they caught on on Sentinel's side. Dapper holding a great angle despite being paranoid. You got to get up close and in Absolutely. his bubble, and he is able to punish again. The Cypher holding strong, just six and five, but some big plays throughout this series. On the other side, I'm keeping an eye across the Envy board to see if anyone is a standout. These entries, they seem to be an issue so far for me, and I want to see yes. will someone be able to step up, potentially another op kill from Mummy to open things up. Killjoy known to be mid. You know, there's not going to be a rush with anything she's doing this game. The information is actually so big. I mean, shots and headshots can change the round right away, but being able to pressure back and hold that, you know, Killjoy's mid, they're not rushing somewhere right away, actually is a big benefit. You got to relax on your, your point and get ready for what might be a jump peak, not a rush peak. Oh, oh through the wall! That's a punish to the belly button. And Sick has been so good on this Phoenix as well. He was the one causing problems early in the round. He's looking to finish here. The run it back, looking for the last remaining oh. players. They're forced into Sinatra, but Akis holds strong. Not once, but twice as he finds Sick's body. And this is a game-changing moment. As I say it, Dapper looks to shut it down. 50 seconds still left on the clock, though. Good flank out. Paying off for Dapper to get out. Garage is being held now. Will they be able to get themselves into a position that just sees this bomb? FNS can use a gate, has a trap. All that gives away where he's coming from, though, and just ready on the other side. No, he's not. Dapper falls asleep at the wheel for a moment as F FNS gets the shot onto him. And now it's going to be a quick pickup, keeping his eyes on the prize. Almost in garage, and Zoms make easy, quick work of FNS on the entry. I got a little bit nervous there for Sentinels. They were kind of giving 1v1 opportunities against yeah, Finesse. Of course, you call. have no idea where that last man is standing after a potential relocation. He gets the first win on Dapper, but Zoms will hold strong at the doors. Here's a look at Sick in the early part of this round. Shazam leading that one perfectly, hits the wall bang, and Dapper with the pinch from behind causing no. problems. Sentinels, they swarm, they get in your face early, and then they suffocate, and this round should be easier than ever. Round 11, it's all ARs and a sniper against just pistols in the hands of Envy. See if they commit on this. 
You push up. This is this is kind of a default strat, if you will. You smoke, you get as get close as possible. Way. What you're about to do then has big return on investment because it's right in the face of your opponent no to kill into Zombs with the knives to start from Mummy. Sinatra trying to stop the plan, get a few shots in here from the ultimate, and he will delay for the team to rotate. And I definitely think you are going to see the lockdown coming in from Killjoy this there it is. round. Here it goes. Killjoy put it on the box. You have to destroy it to stop it from stunning you on the site. Envy, FNS, I should say, picking up two there with the Frenzy, holding the door down. And what should be an outgunned round turns into a favorable round win here, unless Sinatra can pull off some heroics. Huge stuff as the Thrifty comes through, and it all got started with Mummy using that Blade Storm, opening things up on C. Right into the face of his opponent. Never hesitating, and that's what you want to see, especially when you're up against Sentinels, because the communication's there, they'll rotate quickly, and they'll probably have somebody on the right flank to make it work. So you need to think before them and get inside their head when you're making these plays. Really nicely done there as well for the team to get into the side and puck it. That was put down after the bomb plant, the Killjoy out. That's what we want to see, pressuring the entry into the site, not pushing them out to get in. It can be used both ways, but I feel like we saw it the effective way there. It just makes you so uncomfortable. It's still yeah, so it new. Not everyone knows how to react to it, but you know you have to do something. Either destroy it or get out of dodge. Here we go, the final round of the first half. A 6-6 six, six start would be perfect for Envy. And here's a big one, the run it back. Traded as it's going to be Akis coming out with the first kill. Zoms is there to hold strong at C. In the back, he knows he has a bit of smoke cover towards the right side, but he's willing to make the one two play on the shot transfer as he moves to safety. Now, confidence there from Zoms as he has been able to hold the back of the site. Some good kills coming in. His entry to B with the bomb solo was attempted by the side of MP. All right, what do you got for me, Calypso? You've been huge in the past, you set up your teammates for success. You've got three of them between you and Mummy. I know it. And there's the first 1v1. Zoms is waiting and has the jump on him. Down to just a shorty and an operator. <laughs> Sniper takes forever to pull oh, out. You only got two bullets in the shotgun, so this is all Sentinel. Mummy running for his life, but he won't last long as a little bit of teabagging's going down. Sinatra yeah. giving him a refreshment before the second half. Tactically crouched numerous times. <laughs> Seven to five here. Uh, See what they some can do. people get so angry at that. I grew up in the Halo world. I remember watching you cast Halo back yeah. at WCG. Yeah. It's just a, it's, it's a, it's a movement that your thumbs are used to after a decade of first-person shooters. Absolutely, I, I believe that. I believe that. Second nature movement. So we'll see what happens here. So no frenzies to start. Some squads running the frenzies. Always respect that. It's fun. It's more of a one and done gun. Is your, your clip's gone? But mm -hmm. here we see classic with armor. So you got a, a bit of a tank, if you will, playing that Superman role, but you're not buying him a sheriff with armor. Now. And it, it's going to be ghosts around the board. Look for a great recon dart to set up this push, and Sick will be the player looking to punish. Goes out, shows himself mid before rejoining the rest of the group. This is going to be a five-man hit over to A. Boom. Nice curveball, but it's only going to find oh. two. Caboose is going to convert it into the first two picks before Sick will find him. So a no three versus net. four, and the full rotation should be coming in just as the attackers land. Sinatra taking out Akis is huge. So patient on those shots coming in lower. Really nicely done to not panic with the Ghost. Calypso looking for some spams, looking for some util, making sure that camera was not looking right above their head. Really smart, heady plays here to just give themselves upper hands. And that's, that's unfortunate. Mm. That'll happen. One of us as they move into the site. Now FNS still cleans that one up. Looking down on the Cypher. But the tip of the hat comes from Dapper as he says, thank you. First pistol round, it was Finesse with three kills as Cypher. This time, Dapper takes his turn, and it will be Sentinels with an 8-5 lead and weapons here. Now, Shazam immediately will go to a Bulldog second round or a Phantom if he got enough kills. This is going to be a perfect start for him, and Shazam is definitely going to be a player to watch. He won't be the entry, but he is going to be the man second or third in line to pick up all the cleanup work. See where they go. There's a little bit of a mid strat here. Bombs down, so it's Intel grab. Maybe get a bit of util out of B if they can. Look at this. 
by Envy. Full squad over the seaside playing the trap of the turret, hopefully on lower, but also I don't think that's even looking to sight. So they are banking on this working and that there will be a lower push to give them information. Let's see if Sentinels falls into this. Taking their time, Sentinels slowly working their way up through B. Spike's still in the back, so they haven't committed anywhere yet. If they go over to C, though, they are going to be in for a surprise. Unfortunately for Envy, no one has even peeked that direction as the drone is coming out. There's going to be Sinatra checking every corner. They see B is safe. Yep. One player inside garage. Where's everyone else? They're not back B. Are they in CT? Are they over on C? Or is there still players at A? It looks like B is going to be the ideal plant position. And now they've got to defend it. What will the pistols be able to do? You're looking for a big curveball to start this one off. So Shazam knows there's some at C. He saw Omen Smoke come from that way. Hot hands under the feet of Sick as he gets himself into a better spot. But Shazam, like you said, not the first in, but cleaning up the kills as the team is getting further and further into the site. Shazam still playing around the front, making sure he can peek mid and go back. But now it's just the hunt down. If they can find FNS, he's in the garage. And there's an Ares kill from Sinatra. Give him an Odin. Give him an Ares. He's going to hit <laughs> the comes. headshot. He's going to spray you down if he missed it somehow. I love the Bulldog buy, though. And, and the interesting thing for me is to see, does Shazam continue to convert it into kills? Zom's also sticking on one. And Sinatra is going to have that Ares. They're really loading yeah. up not just for this round, but for the next if they lose it somehow to the rifles. Make this expensive. You know Envy is broke. They've got to clutch up here. In fact, Calypso can't even buy full armor. Yeah. We'll see if the defense holds it down strong as they look like they're once again going to have two at C, two long A, and a floating Calypso in the middle of the map ready to paranoia anyone pushing through but they're playing very deep on site. I love your point about the Bulldog because it is even bigger for Shazam. The fact that it's less cost to get through a round with that. Another $400 on top of two kills means this, this Bulldog can go to someone else coming in a round and he gets that off that he wants because he's on a lot of money. So really, really well thought out with kind of sorting in light armor, heavy armor, Bulldog, and what will matter in the rounds to come. Blade Storm also available for Shazam. They're down a man, but that could turn on its head if he is able to get a pick and just run this round away. As you take a look, it's going to be Sinatra working with Sick, the duo trying to clear Garage, making their way to back C. And this is going to be a full C commit as the spike is moving forward. Expect the push to come in. Shazam could burst. Instead, the he double. holds, and there is a great re-peak from Mummy working off each other's information, or even the audio, right? Because that's not much of a call. Somebody's saying there, but Mummy is already peaking based on the audio that he heard and what he knows about what's going down around the rest of the map here coming through Garage. Seems like Envy it just has this one locked down. But Dapper, get the ace, Mummy. Not today. All Ooh, right. With 10 HP left, Dapper comes up huge on that, but he's going down eventually as he goes to sink that spike into the ground. Calypso says, no $300 for you or the team. Do not pass go. And Sentinels, of course, still carrying over their second round weaponry. They didn't expect to keep it. They just wanted to make it expensive for Envy. So now they're going to be able to go to their full buy. Do they go with an operator yeah. on the attack? Because we, we've seen so many tournaments where the Sentinels just prefer to go five rifles. Just all work together, get the trades. You don't need to open it up with a sniper, unlike the majority of teams in this tournament. They just might, though. Considering the buy, see Shazam standing it. up there with the cannon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's looking down. So A work. Their precedent set. Gate goes down from Cypher. They do it each round. The other team's wondering. Now they know they have a bit more info coming through, but are they lower? Are they still going mid? A great push up actually by Envy on C's, allowing Envy to know this is probably a B or A side push. And of course, Sentinels really haven't run into the utility from Killjoy. She had just the turret in the first round. Now they will know. Shadows traveling. And Calypso with some early dark cover to just distract in the middle. Give Mummy a little bit of extra cover as he works his way over to the A site. They are prepping for a big hit. They know it's coming, but will Sentinels commit? Camera would be great to pull here for Sentinels on the way out. Looks like they're going to leave it. So they want to commit something here to A. Wow. With this utility, the trade got going down there after a lot of patience. Just opens up the kills. Calypso finding one on the entry. A bit disjointed here coming in from Sentinels as nobody else was ready to do that as they thought they could get a lurker into the site, but Calypso is watching all the angles. Calypso has been such a rock for this team. Mr. Consist consistent, yeah. in my opinion. 
We'll see what his counterparts can do on the opposite side of the map, though. Finesse, if you looked at their previous matchup, did not have a good series against Sentinels. He was a hero in the early rounds. Can he do it again? Get three players way. pushing him. He's taking his time. Shazam pops the blades, and he's going to get punished. Finesse with the first, the second. He's looking for the last remaining member. It's going to be Sinatra, and he will go down. Pocket. A huge hold again from the IGL. Pocket, that was so good he stopped himself from wide swinging uh, you could see that he wanted to and he said no the pressure of being behind the box watch this watch this he gets that first kill and you see him start to wide swing a little bit and he says no come to me he's like oh i want it no 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 you come to me oh, what a play patience and like you said the igl coming up big so that's going to give momentum to everybody here this is huge for Envy. That is yeah. the game swinging moment. For the first time, you have Sentinels on the back foot here in the second half. The attackers already with the disadvantage. They have to force the action. Now you've got the better weaponry to punish them. And Kabo still with the run it back to use. You've got your Neural if you want it here on your Cypher. So Envy set up for success. We'll see what the Sentinels do on the attack here. Looking for just a gun early. If they're able to get a single Phantom, we have seen this team do some remarkable stuff behind the equipment. Oh, he pulls the camera back right away. So they get a quick look. They want to use that somewhere else, but see if they can pull some utility here. Oh, he gets the orb. He's going to get what he wants. He's got his ult now for sure. Yes. <laughs> He'll go to get two <laughs> points on that. But unfortunate there as Sentinels was really looking to make a play off starting with an orb this round. Yeah, you got no Sage. That was Sick who no. normally <laughs> played that. So uh, we'll see you in the next round here, Sick. Again, just a pistol Whoa, round, Sinatra. but they are investing. Sinatra pops the Hunter's Fury. There's some big shots from Dapper. And all of a sudden, it's a four exactly. on three. Sentinels with the man advantage. They've got this fight down as well. Oh. And as I say, actually, sorry, the spike was falling up. It was all the way across the map. Now on to yeah. A, they've got it secured, but Mummy with the Operator, not the ideal weapon to break back in. Slowly working. So FNS is playing time. Wants to say, hey, will they peek? No. You're going to have to go to them. Great hold here by Sentinels, not giving up any position just yet, but those Dark comes out to push Envy around just a little bit here on that defensive retake. 2v3, Cypher's low. They could actually make this work for themselves. Stinger on the right side, that's fast damage, and Sinatra finishes it up with a crossfire. How did that start? You lose sick early. You lose sick. You pop the Hunter's Fury, and the whole team commits onto the site. Dapper with an enormous ghost kill to open things up, and then a slow punish and finish, one by one, able to dismantle Envy. But it was the Hunter's Fury who started it, and there is Dapper that kind of sealed the deal. Once you get Zoms into a short-range position, if you ever watch him hold over A on Ascent, the man is just primo. From five meters and out, he is going to hit the head every time. And I think, Puckett, this is where you kind of talk about Sentinels way. having a B to Jump's their over. A. Oh, we lost Look one? Dead. This still works if X, if we do this now, if we change a little bit, and they still make an A X Q work. Here comes the run it back from Envy side of things. And Caboose is going to see nothing. Takes out a tripwire on the way back to his body. But not much value out of that one. Sick is going to answer back with his own from Sentinels. Following the drone. Drone didn't see much, but they know they're going to have the man advantage over at sea. Here I comes the push. Exactly. The Ness with just a specter. Hold strong. Push. Mummy through the cage is going to find Shazam. And all of a sudden, it is a bloodbath at sea. But Dapper He's remains, big. and this spike is going down. Such a tough angle to hold there. Sentinels are putting themselves the in. Kind of the edge of their seat. Frags there. Oh, seeing a few in Garage. He knows he's going to have to pick this 1v1, but they're going to wide swing him. He almost gets those fights that he needed with the movement. But Calypso caught, talked about him a few rounds ago. Coming up again, a 3K here as he continues to put up the impact frags for the team. And watching him on the minimap, I don't know how he survived. <laughs> Doesn't get spotted by the drone doesn't get seen by the run it back and then is able to pinch in with the perfect time for a triple punish 10 8 three more rounds for sentinels envy needs five this one going to come down to the wire as once again snipers on both sides everyone else running with the phantoms outside of dapper's smg what is the plan for sentinels a has been working b has worked c has not worked the money is in that spot for both teams where if you start winning, losing, winning, losing, you're getting 3,000 for the win, 1,900 for that first loss round. Oof. So these are getting imperative here at 10 to 8. 
on our first map of the series here between Sentinels and Envy. Looks like Killjoy will set back up in A. Uh, Sentinels always with somewhat of an info split to start. They gather together after that here. We can see hanging out over to the right side. Omen's got C split. Dapper with an early peek, trying to draw him out for six punish. Making noise at A is the plan, but don't expect a commitment here. I wanted to see this. They would rotate out after drawing the attention. They know they've got Envy on heavy rotates previously. Yep. Can you punish it now after showing the fake and your rotate to B? A little dance here as it's going to be Caboose around the wall. On the other side, Dapper has been holding deep this entire time after the first 20 seconds of the round. 45 left on the clock. It's go time here for the Sentinels. Smoke towards mid with the knowledge of a drone coming through. Right? It's kind of like Sentinels are working off the we've worked B a few rounds, but we're not going to. At 33 seconds into the round, Sentinels feels like they have dislodged what was the defensive envy for now, enough to run their strat by just kind of milling about a drone through mid, and now back. The call comes to A as Envy tries to put up the defense. And they're avoiding mummies on that operator. Caboose holding strong, finds Dapper. Calypso going for the peak, but he's gonna be full blind. 12 seconds, you need four to get this spike planted. And Caboose has shut it down at short. A spike cannot get up, it is on the ground. And this should be an Envy round if they stay alive. One second in, and it is a clutch taking down that Imperative bomb planter. Then it will not go. So that was real quick. I think that was the first round we've really seen Sentinels trying to push the clock down to see how Envy would react in a tight situation. And I'm pretty impressed with Envy there. Yeah, a nice job by Calypso to get back over to the site relatively quickly. As soon as he hears it contact, he is making his way back through B. Good read. Mummy staying alive, though, at the last moment. I wasn't sure it was going to happen. <laughs> Envy almost dropping that round. Instead, they'll keep the operator, the 4,500 credits. Everyone else can buy back up. And this could be Envy tying it up. Caboose wants to get aggro here. Nowhere near the run it back. He is simply looking to punish the slow pushes over at A. Can he find a flank kill? Calypso with him. This could be a big oh paranoia word. setup. This is huge. Just on the other edge. Shazam doesn't even know he's going to be walking up. They're actually right in a way to be collateral. If they do! But Shazam makes the first shot as Calypso hesitates for a moment, thinking he may be able to get more. I'm not sure. But they trade it back to start things off. And this push pays off a bit as we're tied at 4-4. Four and four, But there, falls into the favor of Envy. And you saw Caboose trying to dodge that. Sick is going to still land the curveball. The full blind Phoenix is dropped. You got a man advantage. How do you use it? Yeah. Instantly, the spike is going down. Dark cover is there, but you know someone's going to be pushing. Before the curveball comes out, Finesse finds the headshot. Three versus three. Envy on the retake. You've got Mummy on sight watching the front door. Finesse is going to watch the top, and they're just waiting on Akis to rotate over before this defuse comes through. Nice picks coming out. Up down, you have to expect Dapper thought he had a bit of a safe run. entry, at least to pick and be able to get out. And here we have the Killjoy out going. Uh, Killjoy ultimate going out. Zom's able to take one down. They're trying to identify where it is just to the corner. He can spam it through the wall. It's hitting. It's hitting, but he hasn't hit it enough times. Lockdown oh, destroyed. He just got it. Just in time. Sentinel oh, going to get the round. Finesse going to be blown up or shot in the face on this exit, yep. and it's going to be some bodies from Sinatra. It got a little bit sketchy as soon as that Killjoy alt came down. as like, oh man, Envy's got it. Instead, Sentinels get away with their 11th round and are now just two away. No, Zoms is a guy that will make sure he will get up there. What a shot from Shazam as well, because he's trying to trek long, but also he's, there's a guy in front of me. Boom. The fast, quick off skills. It's still snap. Fires out. He's still got it. From yeah. CS days. Still got it. Very much so. Showing us that almost every game here. Uh, looking at the inventories. Rifles around, actually, here for the side of Sentinels. It looks like they want to play a little bit more close to the chest on this one, and it's a push for Menvy. I hate to call him out, but I said Caboose is going to be the X Factor, the player who needs to pop off. Yeah, yeah. He's still in single digits. We're coming down to the end of this game, and he's not getting a ton of action at A. But on these retakes, he has not had success as Phoenix. Calypso answering back, causing some problems, and there's the second headshot. Looking for his third, but Sinatra holds strong. Should be an easy post plant here for Sentinels. The ultimates that they have, Omen can do some fakes, doesn't really need to ult, but wait. 
So was on site. Cannot ult the bomb here. So they're going to have to play this one again a little bit closer. Envy coming in. 2v1. Killjoy is going to be going towards that garage side. Caboose this time is going to find Sinatra for his 10th kill. Flash down long. Nice punish nice. from Dapper. And Dapper knows where the last member is. And Akis will be gunned down by the Cypher. Sentinels now on game point. This was Envy's map pick. Absolutely, and kind of surprising to a lot of people as well. Envy would go after this, Sentinels being such a methodical team and running different sites, and Haven being a three bomb site map would almost seem like you're really putting yourself up against a challenge, but Envy stepping up to that challenge here in this game, but backs against the wall and what could be game point, like you said, Bucket. 23 kills for Sinatra on top. He has just been unloading this game. The rest of the team following up on Sentinels. Can they close it out here? Honestly, I think Haven was the right pick for Envy. This is Sentinels' least played map. They've avoided it in tournaments. Their lowest win percentage, but now well, could go. be another win in the column here for your red team. Sentinels getting the first pick. They destroy the run it back as Caboose is going to have to play deeper on A. They've got long locked down, but only for so no long. Aegis is going to run out of utility, and it's going to come down to some gun skill. Sinatra made the Hunter's Ooh. Fury work on their last successful yep. A push. This time around, no luck. Doesn't find anyone with the first three bursts, using all of the shock bolts as well. As they're just making noise, but I still think we're going to see a rotation, and you can already see Zom start to lead the team over towards C. You love seeing stuff like that, because as a player yourself, you wonder, when should I throw these out? What should I do? And you're looking to do chip damage. You don't always have to see it do chip damage, but they're always hoping. And here, Shazam steps out, gets taken by Calypso as they quit a uh, quick trade and kills. I but now it's exactly all towards that mid lane. Bomb planted towards BC side, but it looks like it's going to be a mid hold. And they leave Phoenix inside alone. Caboose doing what he can. Akis working with Mummy. Mummy with a shotgun out. Shorty in hand. Caboose on the other side. So they've wrapped around B. They know no one is on site. They've got to be out front. But Sick is Sick. still going to convert it to his third kill. Zombs is going to find a fourth. And Sinatra, Mr. 150K. Go ahead, 